Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video here with uh, with a channel update and what's going to be going on here. So uh, I know I've taken uh, quite a bit of a hiatus from doing this um, and uh, I want to get back into it, but I'm going to be doing, uh, uh, I'm going to be putting other videos on this channel that's not just silver related. It's also going to be some of my hobbies. My biggest hobby that I'm into um, is, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute. So Basically what's happened is uh, I, I sold off over the past couple years a majority of my silver that I had. Um, I do still have some left, um, a lot of which, uh, and, and I'd, I'd like to talk to you a little bit and share some of my experience with, um, with having to sell silver. And, and so now having both aspects of it, what, what to do and what not to do in order to get the, the most uh, money out of your, your collection. So um, what I have here are cards, or I'm sorry, are uh, graded coins um, from NGC. Um, the most convenient way to sell your silver um, is gonna be to selling it to a large corporation, uh, whether it be Provident Metals, um, Atmax, um, JM Bullion, you know, any, any of these, there's a lot of these big guys out there and, uh, you know, the, you can sell them to them and they'll give you a, a, a fair price for a lot of your stuff. Um, they do, a lot of them have minimums on what you can sell. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. Um, your other option is to sell it locally. Um, you know, which, what, what I've, what I've found in my experience is you want to find a, a jeweler a reputable gold and silver dealer, um, a lot, a good one is going to give you at least melt for your stuff. Um, you know, a lot of the pawn shops, they're not going to give you, they, they need to make a bigger markup. And, and so they're going to give you less than spot, less than melt for your silver. Um, the other thing is you're going to be very, very hard pressed to find any local people for the majority. I mean, you know, if you live in a big city, a big area, a lot of population, you're probably going to be able to find places that are going to buy and sell stuff like this. However, if you're selling stuff like this, you're going to have to sell it on eBay. And that comes with a whole slew of issues, problems, you know, um, you know risk, obviously, involved in selling on eBay. You know, you can very easily get screwed over. Um, eBay always pretty much sides, sides with the buyer. So, uh, it, you know, buyers can definitely screw over sellers. So you want to be careful with that. Uh, it also takes a lot of time and effort into selling your silver. If you have a large collection and you got to sell them one at a time on eBay, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of postage. You know, you're not really... Uh, you're not really making out in that process. Um, you know, you also got to, you know, your time is money. So you have to factor that into when you got to unload this stuff. You know, we collect silver. We buy silver for fun, for enjoyment, as a hobby, but also as an investment. And things can always arise where you have problems, issues, health issues, whatever it may be, where you have to unload some of your silver. And you want to be able to have a good amount of silver available to sell without losing a lot of money. So what I recommend now doing this is you're going to want to, you want to buy like for every five ounces, you want four of those ounces to be either eagles or maple leaves. You want them to be, or, or rounds, or one ounce silver rounds from, from well-known manufacturers. Sunshine Mint, you know, uh, R, RMC, uh, you know, anything. Any one ounce round is fine. You have, you, you know, you're probably going to get melt for it. If it's an eel, you're going to get a little more than melt. If it's a maple leaf, you're going to get a little more than melt. That's what you want to have the bulk of your money in if you're investing if you're just collecting you know this is not this this information isn't really for you if you're just a collector just to have fun buy whatever you want whatever makes you happy 
this information is for people who, who like to collect, but also aren't sure what to buy. And, and from my experience of having to sell my silver, um, you know, over time, you want to buy it in stuff that you can move easily without losing too much money. You know, if you have to sell and silver hasn't gone up, then you want to have a lot of your money in, in silver that's not going, that, that, that doesn't have a high, um, a high markup, you know, a high, can't even think of what the word is right now. So basically what this channel is going to be doing, I am going to be st still doing, going back to getting some silver again and putting silver videos on here. Um, and the other thing I found these, these type of coins here, um, with the exception of the kookaburras, um, these, these are worth, you know, these, these will sell for money. I can get money for these. Um, these here are worthless. I mean, not worthless, but they're only worth about the weight, their weight in silver. Um, I paid a high premium on these. That's what I was trying to think of. Wow. Uh, I paid a high premium on these and these are worth like a, a dollar or two over spot, you know, trying to sell this on eBay, not going to be that easy. So, uh, what, what this channel is also going to be getting into is my other hobby, which is magic. <laughs> um, and, uh, you can also have magic cards as a form of investment. Um, you know, they do hold their value. Um, and, uh, prices go up and down. It's, it's kind of like, you know, it's a market. Um, and these are, these are a good commodity. Um, but I, I don't do, I don't really play this for, for that. I collect them and I play the game. Um, so I'm also going to be getting into a lot of, you know, a lot of that on this channel. You're probably going to see, you know, both magic and silver on here. Um, and, uh, yeah. So I just wanted to give an update, uh, kind of what's going on, kind of things to come, things to expect. Um, you're going to be seeing me opening up a case of the newest set from, uh, Modern Masters 2017 on here. Um, those videos will be coming up shortly. Um, and then, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do some more guides onto buying and selling silver. Um, I think I've learned quite a bit and I'd like to share, share what I've learned with you guys. I know I shared a little bit here, uh, today with you. Um, and I'm going to share a little bit more as time goes on. And, uh, also what I pick up, um, you know, and what I buy, cause I am getting back, you know, I'm in, I'm in, an, I'm in an area now, a uh, point in my life where I'm going to get back into buying silver, but this time I'm going to do it much smarter. And, uh, I hope you guys, uh, stay along with me for the ride. Thanks.